Alright, welcome back to the Power Mac Guy channel. This is a guide to Linux for Android. We're going to be installing Termux, and throughout this video I'm going to try and give you as many examples as I can so you can see exactly what you can do with Linux on Android. Because setting it up is one thing, but using it is another. So first what we need to do is install Termux. What you can do is use the Fdroid app which works great for a lot of other stuff but i've been noting that with termux it has a lot of issues for some reason and sometimes it'll say it's not compatible even though it is so if you have the termux app installed you can easily just search termux inside fdroid and go ahead and install it from here what i am going to do is go straight to the website because that way i know it works and i'm doing it just to give a clean working example now in the previous video i installed it from the Google Play Store. We don't want to do that anymore because they're not giving updates to the Google Play Store version due to limitations provided by the Google Play Store. So what we want to do is download it from fdroid.org and I'm just going to go there again because I had it loaded up. fdroid.org and when you load up the page you're going to go to this find app section and you're going to search Termux. Now we're installing it from here because this version is going to get updates. So what you want to do is click uh, Termux then you want to scroll down until you see an APK download APK and we're just gonna download that now this is Firefox which isn't going to give us the notification when the download finishes but we do have other browsers that will give us a um, notification so yeah we're just gonna click download uh, because this won't give us a notification what we're gonna do is we're gonna to navigate to the downloads folder we're going to go into our file manager my favorite file manager is mix I think it's called mix Explorer. And I really like it because you can have bookmarks and there's a whole lot of other features and plugins that really make this an excellent app. So what we're going to do is uh, scroll to the downloads folder. Now, because I have bookmarks, I can just click download. If you want to create a bookmark in Mix, what you want to do is scroll to the folder. Uh, let's find downloads. And you're just going to hold it down and you're going to click this three dot menu right here and you're going to do add to and you're going to say bookmarks. Now, I already have it added. If it is already added, there'll be a heart on the folder in the top right. So here's the file we just downloaded. It's com.termux underscore 118.apk. So at the time of the recording of this video, this is the latest version of Termux. So this is the first step. Now, remember, if you previously had the Google Play Store version installed, you're going to want to uninstall that and any other pieces and parts you may have had for the Google Play Store version. So like for Termux, there's Termux Styling, which allows you to give some more styling to Termux. And you're just going to want to uninstall all those parts and pieces. And that way, this will do a clean installation and everything should work fine. Now, I believe I already have Termux Styling installed, so I don't think I need to install that again. All right, and it's just gonna go through this little install uh, situation. Now, one of the first things I like to do with Termux is immediately make it bigger. So in order to do that, you're gonna do Control, Alt, and then the plus equals button, just until you get it to the size you want. And I, I think that's good for the video. All right, so we've got Termux installed, and it looks like we've just got the shortcut added to our home screen. In this case, this is the Dex home screen. So I'm just gonna put this right in the Linux folder. Next, what we want to do is we want to style Termux, or at least that's what I like to do when I get a new installation. But even before that, we want to update all of our packages and make sure we're up to date. So what we're going to do is we're going to do PKG update. And what this is going to do is make sure that all of our packages are up to date and that everything is working as it should be. And we're going to click Y for yes, or type Y for yes. Uh, the first time it runs, I just do N for all of these. This is regarding some configuration files. There's a conflict between them, I think. I just do N and I don't have any issues. It's going to ask you that about two or three times. You just do N to leave everything at default. Alright, so now we're up to date. We can do PKG upgrade, which is a similar way to update the system. Alright, and it looks like we're all set. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. So, and in order to clear the screen, you just type clear. So now that we have everything updated, let's go ahead and style it a little bit. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. And one of the um, original ways was to install uh, O my Termux, which is a ZH, 
ZSH shell, which is basically just a nice way to style the shell. But what I found is something that's kind of a complete package on Jonathan's blog over here. Uh, we're just going to continue the website. ZSH and Oh My ZSH and Termux on Android. And it's just got this really nice theme. Okay, so we've got them side by side, and we're just going to run some commands over here. So this is a theme and oh my ZSH, and it's actually going to tie in nicely with the Termux styling. That's the only reason I'm doing it. All right, uh, this is a nice long command. I like to type them in, but we're just gonna copy it. So for Android, uh, I'm using mouse and keyboard, so I'm just holding down and then scrolling and copying and then I can do a right click okay it doesn't look like this browser supports it because I have a keyboard I can do control C now I can't do control V over here in Termux what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Termux to make it active I'm going to hold click and then I'm going to do paste and that's how you paste the command Next, we're going to exit from Termux and reopen. So let's do that. And then let's open it again. Oh, my bad. Let's type exit. So there's two ways to exit Termux to actually close it and because it'll run in the background. If you want to actually exit for real, you're going to either type in exit or you can go into your notifications and it'll tell you if there's a session running. So we're just going to tell it to exit. So those are the two ways you can exit. It'll actually close the app. it we're going to do dot slash install so in Linux a dot slash is a way to run a file that is not located in your bin directory so if there's a runnable script and let's just see uh, green files or files that can be executed if it's runnable you can just do a dot slash to run it and we're gonna do install all right so yeah, another thing that wasn't entirely clear with this guide. In order to get this uh, situation going over here where you can select the theme and everything and to actually open up Termux Styling, we're going to run Termux Style, which it looks like has been added to our bin folder. Okay, so there we go. It looks like the program has changed. Let's do C. So I did C for colors, and I'm going to select green screen dark because that is one I like. That is number 41. All right. So it looks like in order to get this to work, you um, clone the directory, then you go into the directory, and then you want to run the install, and then you want to run TS style to actually change the style. All right. But it looks like we're good. So. Let's go to the home directory to do that. You just do uh, CD and then the tilde, I think that's what that's called. Then your home, and then let's clear. And now we have a clean install of Termux and it's nice and styled. So you can pick and choose the various color themes to see which ones you like, but first part is done.